Hey guys, check it out. I got plant meal. I've got two different boxes here. I'm very, very excited. Now, I don't know which ones these are because I have several coming and I kind of lost track. So, let me get these open and then we'll check them out. Okay, I got this open. I know that's obviously what it is. Oh, I didn't order these, but he sent me two little air plants with my order. Aw, I love air plants. I can put these in with my orchids. They'd love, my air plants love to hang out with my orchids. I don't know what they are. Bulbosa, he says on the package very cute. I'll have to give them um, a drink. Alright, I'm going to set these. I'll set them over here. Right with my orchid. Okay, now those. Oh, I am so excited about this plant. Okay. This is a monk's orchid. Oh, let me adjust my camera here. This is a monk's orchid, and this is gorgeous. Look at this. Wow. He sent me a lot. Now, this I got off eBay. Um, I think. I'll have to check for sure. These are gorgeous. Wow. And a lot of bulbs. But look at the beautiful, look at the beautiful patterning <coughs> on this plant. And I'll, I'll pop a picture up of the, um, flower stalks that it gets. You can see the old spent flower stalks on this and he, he said he was digging them up out of the ground to sun them. I'll show you the flower. In the flowers not, you know, much. I think it's pretty. But I, I just really, really like the terrestrial orchids. I'm, I'm, I have several, and I just love them. But you can see they are in, wow, he's not me a whole lot. I'll have to dig up a pot to put these on. But these are great because they can be planted in soil. And, um... You can mix a little bit of bark in with them, but they're gorgeous. I mean, the leaf patterns on here are just amazing. And I see he sent me one of those weeds. I don't want any weeds. I have enough of my own. <laughs> but, oh, this is just gorgeous. Look at this. See if I can pick this up without it falling apart. The stunt stalks are, look at the back, look at the back of these leaves, that is gorgeous, and the fronts are just, just as beautiful, all the modeling, I love it. Okay, let me set this down, um, I'm just going to set the whole bag back in the box for now. And then um, I will get this planted up. I want to go on to the next box. Okay, guys, I got this opened up. Now this one, I I don't remember. I was looking at the oh okay. I just seen what I got, and let's take these out. Okay, these are some uh, Ripsal's cuttings that I bought. 
Um, okay. Let's do this one. I'll do this one first. Wow, these are huge cuttings. This is also... Oh my god. Oh my god. These are beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at these guys. Okay, this is a... Wow. She sent me a lot of really beautiful, beautiful cuttings. This is a... Rupsalis Polienta or Lipsissum. It's a seaweed cactus, is what she's calling it. Is that gorgeous? I love this. I had, I was buying two cuttings and she sent me one, two, three, Four, and they are just gorgeous, gorgeous cuttings. Amazing. Wow, I love those. And look at the, this one shows it a little bit better. But look at the modeling on those leaves. <laughs> oh my god, I am in love with those. And these are all dried out. She also made fresh cuttings the day of purchase or the day of shipping whatever and they are all dried out <clears throat> really nicely so I can go right ahead and get those um, get those potted up kind of funny she's got Chinese uh, newspaper okay now there's one more cutting really excited about this one too but that one was the one that oh I've never seen anything like that before wow beautiful this is really really cool let me get rid of that see these and this that is a Someone serious. Someone serious. I'll put the names up, but wow, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love this. This is really cool. And these are all really nice cuttings. They're all dried up enough to where I can go ahead and also get those potted up wow i am so excited about all three of these purchases um i think what i'm gonna do is i don't know if you guys want to see me pot this stuff up or not um you see so many potting videos repotting videos for me but from me but I will go ahead and um, I'm going to get my my pots ready and uh, I'll show you how I'm going to go ahead and pot these babies up. Okay guys, I got my pot all ready. Got my soil on. Now I'm just going to I'm going to go ahead and wet it all down thoroughly. And I'm just using my normal Coco Choir and Perlite. I got a lot of extra Perlite in here. As soon as I see water draining out of the bottom of the pot, <clears throat> I'll stop watering it. And here she comes. So, okay. Now what I'm going to do is just, let me take this off, there, it drains, these pots drain a lot faster, a lot better if um, you take that bottom off. I'm just going to 
I'm going to pack this down. Not really hard, but enough. And then I am going to dry off my hands so I don't get dirt boogers all over everything. Then what I'm going to do is just make a hole. Okay. Now I am just going to start making a hole. I'm going to start around the edge. And I'm going to start picking what pieces I want to put in. That's a little bit smaller. I'm going to start with the big ones. And See which way does this want to fall. Looks like it's kind of drooping sort of that way. I'm going to make a different hole a little closer to the center. And then I'm just going to stick her down in there. Pack it down in. Get it nice and secure. And I want to remember, I want to try to stay away because this is a hanging pot. I'm going to be hanging her up. I want to stay away from where my hooks go in. So on this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hang it right about there. Make a big slit. And then stick her down in there. Pack it down in. And while these are rooting out, you want to keep your soil moist all the time. Okay, now I got two more. And I am just going to put one right about here. Stick it down in there. You want to give it a generous amount down there so that it roots out well. Because then whatever you're sticking down into the ground, I mean the soil, should get roots on it. And then I'm going to put the other one on the other side. God, this is a beautiful, beautiful plant. <laughs> I just love it. Now, I'm not going to fertilize her. They're actually in that mix in my bucket. There might have been a little bit of worm castings. Um, But I won't fertilize her until she gets roots and gets going a little bit. And then I will start fertilizing. Okay, let me get her hung up. And God, this is gorgeous. Wow. I am very impressed. I don't know if I should cut some of these off. If it'll be, if I notice it's having issues because there's so many uh, draping leaves coming off this, I'll cut them off, let them dry, let them dry down for a day or two, and then I'll stick them back into the soil if I see the plant is struggling. We'll get my bottom back on. And then there we go we will I will hang this up and then we'll go on to the next one okay now this next one I did the exact same thing got my soil on there wet it down and then this one is it's the Silencerus wickly eye or <laughs> whatever such odd names. Now you want to make sure that you're taking the cut end. Now I'm going to start out with my big one. It's nice and dry. And I'm going to... Oh. Whew. I need to make my hole. 
And stick her down in there. Pack it on. And then my next big ones are these here. Make sure you're putting the cut end in. I'm going to stick it down pretty deep, about a half, half an inch or so. And I may have to, um, I may have to stake these up until they get rooted in nicely, which is fine. Or they may stay, I don't know. We'll just kind of have to wait and see, but I'm sure I'll have to stake it on. I'm just going to take my next one, find the dried end, stick that one in there. Then I've got, we'll see, I've got three more pieces, so I'm just going to do the same all the way around. Pack it down in. And these, you know, you want to keep them moist while the roots are growing, or until the roots are growing. Now I'm not using any kind of um, root hormone, but you can. But usually the root salus, um, they usually root out really quickly for me in soil. So, there, that pot was just about perfect, and I'm glad because uh, I'm running out of pots. I have to go, I need to go pot shopping. Now I'm going to go ahead and water the sun again. I don't know. I might just uh, maybe tie these up a little bit. And I'll do the same once these are rooted in. And you can usually tell if you just give it a little tug and they feel tight, you know that they're uh, rooted in nicely. But yeah, I think I might, um, I may tie these bigger pieces up, because this one's kind of, it's kind of falling over a little bit. Let's see if I can pack it in a little bit more here. Okay, let's get the monk, or, uh, monk orchid potted. Okay guys, I got my pot already, I got my cocoa choir, lots of perlite, I've got my wood coal, and I'm just going to mix it up, and you can use, you know, regular, regular orchid bark is fine also. I just use this because I prefer it, and I have it, and it's cheaper than buying bark, so... I prefer to use this. And I'm just throwing it in, trying to pick out the smaller hunks. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm, I think I'm going to start, I hope this pot is going to be big enough, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start with the bigger pieces, that's a little baby, I'm going to put her down. I'm just cutting off some bad roots. There are a few. Not a big deal. Okay, this is a big clump. I am just going to go ahead and I'm going to clean her up. 
I'm gonna move my box over here. And I can strap my plant trash right in it. Okay, that's a bad root. That one just pulled right off. Not a big deal. I mean, she's got plenty of plenty of roots to keep her healthy. Just trying to get off some of the old sheathing. Don't want rot to set in. And any little bugs that might be hiding down in there. Okay, that's a big hunk. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set her down in the middle. Okay, uh, I need some more soil. Such a beautiful morning out here, but man, it's going to get really hot again today. Okay. <clears throat> now these orchids, I did a lot of research about the monk orchid before I purchased it. I seen it and I was like, oh my god, that is like so beautiful. But actually, this is an orchid that... will die down when it gets cold. It'll all die back. The leaves will die back. And it will go into a dormant stage for winter. And then in the spring, when it starts growing back up again, you can start watering it and she will put up all this new beautiful growths or leaves and then she'll start blooming and from what i read and i read a couple different websites about this orchid is um They will bloom off and on all summer long. So I thought, well, at least for me, once she starts going dormant, I can put her down. I don't have to worry about, you know, extra, extra space, so to speak, to which I have none. So like most of us out there we have too many plants and not enough space so now you want to keep the pseudobulbs above ground or I'm sorry above the soil these are the pseudobulbs right here the big fat hunky ones that's a nice little tuber root and I'm just trying to kind of tuck them in doing the best I can, just kind of laying them in and then kind of getting the and then I'll put more soil over top of them, but you want to make sure you're keeping the pseudobulbs above the soil line so they don't rot out. I'm really excited to see what this orchid is going to do. I just, I think the foliage is absolutely gorgeous. And it was like kind of a big plus for me to know that she will go dormant. I'm just kind of putting the baby baby ones off to the side because then hopefully I can tuck them in. Man, I'll tell you, these, this root, these root systems on here are, I can see 
Um, she's uh, not going to be in the spot for very long, but <coughs> I'll have to get <coughs> I'll have to get a really big um, pot to put her in for next year, and hopefully she can be in it for a while. But okay, I'm going to lay this one down in here. I may have to put, um, I may have to put the smaller ones in a smaller container. We'll just have to see here how it goes. Because I've still got, still got quite a bit left, which is fine, but maybe I'll give my mom some. I don't know. She probably doesn't have room. She's kind of uh, planted out and I would prefer to keep not to have two pots so I'm gonna try to get everything in here that I can okay guys I got all the roots cleaned up I got all of the pseudobulbs cleaned up of the dead and dying and now I am just kind of, I got everything in here. I'm just trying to fill in my soil where it needs it. And I'm going to feed her. I'm just using the Espoma. Trying to get them to just set up here. I think what I'm going to do is that is a little teeny one, so it's probably going to keep falling out. But I'm going to go ahead and water it in. I'm sure I'll have to add more soil. This was a hell of a lot of plant. Wow, I can't be I just still can't believe how much this guy sent me. This is crazy. Definitely was not expecting that much plant for what I paid for it. Because that was uh Let's see, I got on eBay, and if I remember correctly, I think I paid like ten dollars for the plant, and then the shipping was like four, I don't know, four or five dollars. Something like that. Now what I'll do later is uh, I'll take her out, set her down in the grass, and yeah, I need a little more soil right here. Then I'll completely spray her down with the hose and clean her up out in the yard. She's used to growing out in the garden. I won't. Now these take, um, these are an understory plant. So they'll take bright, like a bright shade, but not full sun. So like in your house, you could grow them. And mine will be out here on my front porch and it'll be getting a northwest, um, 
exposure so all right guys that is it i will put pics of blooms up of everything and um this is gonna be way too long of a video i will talk to you guys later have a great day i'll do updates on these guys later bye guys peace